<laughs> Professor Haley. Remember him? Well, the one that came to stay a couple of years back and kept forgetting to come in for his meals. Did he? I'd forgotten. Well, he's coming to stay. But Quentin, the house is full already. The children are here. You know that. Are they? I'd forgotten. Now, oh, Quentin, Joan, I finished upstairs, ma'am. Oh, never mind all that. You'll have to make up two beds. Professor Haley and his son are here. Well, someone's going to have to sleep in the loft because they're never all going to fit in. I'm so glad to have you here, Professor Haley. Why, whatever's that? Ah, ah, ah. I can see smoke. <laughs> Mama, we're home. Look, what's that? <coughs> Timmy, no. <coughs> Come back. <coughs> Timmy. <coughs> you let my monkey alone. <coughs> you let my dog alone. <coughs> Who are you? <coughs> He's frightening my monkey. Horrible <coughs> thing. <coughs> George, do stop Timmy barking. Your father is... It's my house. It's Timmy's house. Isn't it sweet? Get us away. You get away. Francis, what's all the noise about? Tell that dog to shut up. Silence. Is there no peace in this house? Fine holiday this is turning out to be. You have to be quiet from morning till night. Fat chance of that with you around. <laughs> and next thing... Father will send Timmy away again. It's his fault if monkeys make him bark. I know! We could go camping to kill an island. The weather forecasts are terrible. They never let us. Or run away! I know where we could go. Oh, yes. Where to? The zoo? <laughs> Don't be mean, Dick. I think this is just sweet. Well, I was thinking of my lighthouse. Your what? Pardon me. I thought you just said lighthouse. I did. It's mine. Father gave it to me last birthday. Oh, yes, and mine gave me a volcano. Shut up, Dick, and let him tell us. Well, it's very old. It's about ten miles up the coast from here. There's a place called Demon's Rocks. Well, I don't know. It really does sound a most extraordinary idea. Oh, please, let us go. The girls at school will never believe I've lived in a lighthouse. It's safe as houses, honestly. It's not as if we aren't used to the sea. And we've got Timmy to guard us. Well, my dears... I really can't think of a reason why not. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful spot. Can we stop here for lunch? Yes. Driver, can we? Why not? I know just the place. The old lighthouse, eh? I was born in Demon's Rocks, I was. Really? Tell us about it. My great-granddad still lives there. Lives in the same cottage where I was born. My the tail deep tab. What about? Wreckers. Wreckers? I know what they are. Terrible evil men. Shine lights on the rocks, they would. On stormy nights. So ships would run on the rocks. And were they... wrecked? Smashed to bits. Absolutely smashed to smithereens. And then they'd wait, see? For all the wreckage to wash ashore. And are there still wreckers today? Oh, no. Gone long ago. Ever since they built the lighthouse. Tell us some more. Time we were getting on. You look out for my great granddad, though. Sits smoking a long pipe out on the quay, all weathers. Jeremiah Boog. Look! Oh, look! Gosh, Tinker, it's wizard. You sure you don't go getting stormbound? I can manage boats all right. Not on Demon's Rocks, you can't. Look! There's my boat. Come on, everyone. Is it what? Of course it is. Anyone got a key? You don't say... <laughs> Here goes. Here, let me try. Well, 
Oh, this is it. Is there a lantern? Of course. Does it still work? No, the lighthouse hasn't been in use for years. certainly see why it's called Demon's Rocks. Is that him, do you think? Jeremiah Boogle. It's a driver's great-great-grandfather. I bet he knows a tale or two. Wreckers! Aha! Bless me! A monkey! Many the monkey I brought home from my voyages. <laughs> um, please, sir, are you Mr. Jeremiah Boogle? Yes, I am. Oh, good. Please tell us about your stories. About the wreckers? Oh, I can tell you about the wreckers and about that dreadful night all those years ago. Nothing's for sure, but what is for sure, that that ship and crew were brought on to Demon's Rocks. A fine ship, loaded with gold. Nobody set eyes on it from that day to this. So, what's happened to the treasure? No one knows for sure. Still in where those rascals put it. All that treasure belonging to the Crown and nobody else. We'll look for it. <laughs> uh, there's many a one done that, young sir. Many a one. And there's many a one still sniffing and smelling after the gold. Free country. Mind your business, old foe. Who are they? Jacob and Ebenezer. Grandsons of the old wreckers, and bad blood will out. Morning. 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 Oh, it's you, young tinker. On your holidays, are you? We were, but now we're on a treasure hunt. Oh, you've been listening to old Jeremiah's tales. Yes. It might even be in the lighthouse. No, Missy. That was built after the wrecking. On account of it, you might say. No, that treasure's long gone. Swallowed up by the sea. Well, Jeremiah doesn't think so. All those other two men. Jacob and Ebenezer. Mm -hmm. Aye. They've scoured them wreckers' caves from top to bottom. Seem to think that treasure's finders keepers. Mind you. Don't give up easy. Sure you locked it? Fathead, you didn't! So where's the key then? Hmm. It looks like the person has been as well as the milkman. Neither of them would have taken the key. Well, someone has. And probably plenty of other things as well. We better look. Come on. Oh, my rug! That's gone. And my purse! I left it under here! Why my watch? Why didn't I take it? Got mine on, thank goodness. Look, got a compass on it. It would have, wouldn't it? Don't suppose the burglar's still here? Any idea it might be, sir? The milkman had been, and the postman. Well, I think we can rule them out. I have a word with Jeremiah Boogle. He don't miss much. Better not leave the lighthouse empty now. Not till we get things sorted. But we want to go out. We're going to look for the... Treasure? Spent many an hour looking for that idea when I was a lad. 
No, young sir. You get yourself nicely tucked in that lighthouse and stop there. In for a wet spell by the look of it. I'm sick of this. And me. I feel like doing something. We'll run up and down the stairs a dozen times then. Very funny. I've been thinking. How far does the lighthouse go down, Tinker? Well, there's a sort of shaft. Father showed it me on the plan. Well, come on then, show us. Well, they had to draw right down into the rock when they built the lighthouse. I don't want to go down any shaft. What scared are you? Well, I... Of course she isn't. Anne's just worrying about our tea, aren't you, Anne? Yes, yes. I'll make it now. That's a tunnel. From the Wrecker's Cave, by the looks of it. It seems to come right to the lighthouse. Only thing is, the lighthouse was built after the wreck, and the shaft was cement, not rock. Why build a shaft if all there is at the bottom is water? Hello? Anyone there? A burglar! Who is it? Police! Come on up. Perhaps they found our things. We jammed the door shut. Well, I just unjammed it, miss. You better get a new key made. How did you get over here? The tide's in. Plenty of bolts to borrow. Now, why don't you game to come back with me? To identify the stolen property. Definitely ours. And these? Found them. Found them out there. But... I was going to hand them in. And what about the key? What key? Come on, Jacob. <clears throat> it's definitely gone. What do I want the key for? Same reason you usually use keys for. I ain't got it, I tell you. So... We'll have to get a new lock. We'll stop in the whole time. We're going to explore the Wrecker's Cave tomorrow. Jeremiah said he'd take us. I'm not sure I want to go. Well, we can't just leave her here by herself. We won't have to. No. Yeah. You have to look after Anne. On guard, Timmy. We're leaving the lighthouse in your charge. Don't let anyone in. Day. God. <laughs> you clear off, Jeremiah Vogel. It's my job to show folk the caves. Who oh, says so? Me and Jacob, this is our pitch. <laughs> Take no notice on him. He's not but a loud mouth. Oh, so you'd hit an old man, would you? Yeah. He'd better not, or I'll report him to the police. Mischief! Come back! Oh, he's run off! Could he have gone down there? He could have gone anywhere. There's miles of tunnels under here. I've seen them all. Not him. He's scared. They're going under the sea. Ain't hey, yeah, be. We must go on. We've got to find Mischief. Oh, there's plenty of time. Tide's not on the turn yet. What? Y you mean it fills up with water? Oh, the tunnels run fast down here. Right under your lighthouse. So there must be an opening there, somewhere among the rocks. He's listening. Mind what you say. The tide runs so fast he could get caught or drowned. And there's many a one has been. What was that? A gold coin. Look. 
Oh, you clever thing! He's found the treasure! Hey, it's gold, all right. But where? Pity he can't talk. Must be further on. Come on! Oh, no, young sir. Tide's in the turn. And these tunnels will fill up quicker than you can walk. Tomorrow, then. Next low tide. I can't wait. The only thing is, if Ebenezer saw that gold, him and Jacob will be there first. But they've looked down there millions of times. Mischief must have been somewhere they've never been. Say, listen, it's blowing up a gale. Gosh, we could be prisoners here for days. You're joking. Oh, no. One thing's good. At least there's plenty of food. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right then, won't you? <laughs> Remember when we were in those tunnels this morning? We went leftish all the way, didn't we? Yes, look. Compass, remember? We went due west the whole time. And Jeremiah said something about the tunnel being under the sea. And then under the lighthouse. So the other opening to the tunnel must be here somewhere. I bet it's somewhere among the rocks. So I vote we look for it. Tomorrow. <laughs> Door shut. Come on. Must have been the milkman. What? In this weather? Let me try. The prisoners. Jacob or Ebenezer. Help. We are locked in. I still think it'll blow away. Well, it's worth a try. Put it under the door and wait it on one side. OK. I still keep thinking about that shaft. Water is definitely coming and going. The tide. Yes, but it's concrete, made after the wrecking, remember? But what if... what if it was bored down through a natural hole? One that they found when they built the lighthouse? You mean that... The... I mean that concrete shaft could just be a lining. That could be the hole we've been looking for. Right under our noses the whole time. And we can escape through it. Blue escaping. Find the treasure. Oh, it's still there. Too choppy for the milkman. This is our only chance. You and me, Dick. The rest stay here. If we're right, we'll carry on and go ashore and get help. There's a hole here, and a kind of tunnel. Attention all shipping. Attention all shipping. The following gale warning was issued at 1300 B.
way. <laughs> Thanks for finding us the go. Go. Come on, for me, raise your arm. <laughs> They're golden, now we're lost. We'll wait here. When we hear them, we'll have to make a break for it and rush past them. But they'll try and They get... know these caves backwards. They'll still be in the right tunnel. Shh. You come back. Come on, we'll, we'll make to the shaft. Here, you. You'll be drowned. After them. No, Tide's coming in. Oh, we'll never make it. Come on. Oh, just in time. I daresent. You know we got the gold. Much good it'll do him dead. Ahoy oh, there. They've got the treasure. They're getting away. What are we going to do? We have to raise the alarm somehow. I don't suppose anyone's got any flags we can wave out of the window. What about this? Just the ticket. Gone off all. They must be trying to tell us something. Or warn us. It's Jacob and Ebenezer. George, take a look! Just a minute, just a minute, not so fast. 